Perfect myth confirmed. I update the deck list. Uh, Spire Bluff Canal. Let's see. Blue, white, green. I mean, carry that should give me all the colors. I mean, I could traverse for a black mana. Game one, the matchup's not super grindy, right? They don't have counter spells. My carry is not gonna guy. I don't really have ways to get anything in the yard. I'm gonna say go. I don't know if, I feel like Carvel Alive is like struggling a bit. Or maybe I have two open at the same time. Call your Nibmizit shot at least once this league. <laughs> hey, Will. Thanks for the sub, bud. How's the, how's the program doing? I started the course and then I completely like left it aside. I was enjoying it though. It was cool. A lot of things that it's you kind of know, but it's nice to hear. And some things you're like, yeah, I'm definitely guilty of that. And then other things you're definitely like, oh yeah, that's something I've actually been doing without really even realizing necessarily. That's something you're interested in. Will has a online course for improving your mental game and just overall helping you enjoy the game more and more healthy way some some great advice you can check out you even get like a little discount if you use the code yellow hat putting the link in chat see trying looks nice in this matchup Oh, that's a nice one too. Discard. Forced, I guess. I guess I should have kept Confluence in hand, maybe. All right, I'm trying to update the, the deck list, but I don't know, for some reason, Card World Live just doesn't, just being laggy doesn't want to uh, do what it's supposed to do. Maybe Carvel Life just can't take the, how good that deck is. Just refuses to believe that's a modern pioneer playable deck. They have seven cards in hand. Hmm. Dreadboard does not seem like the greatest in this matchup. I guess I'll attack them first and body ratio after. Oh, they have Lightning Axe. Lightning Axe, Fiery Temper. All right. No list right now, apparently. Let's see. I guess I'll body ratio them, see what's going on. Ooh, treasure cruise. Easy one. Two is a charm, two lands. That goes into the graveyard. I have three card types, missing instant to be able to tutor. A... So Culligan's command gets back my C Trino. I'm just gonna get rid of uh, Deafening Clarion. Oh, I can't cast Colgan's command, not close. That kind of sucks. I kind of blew it. 
that fabled passage was exactly what I needed, actually. All right, so I'm just gonna say go. You know what? I should have played my land so I could go Culligan's command into Siege Rhino. That was kind of bad turn last turn. I think I'm gonna need to ride there. I mean, they made their second land drop. They still won't have a Phoenix in the yard. Got uh, got punished. Got punished pretty hard here. Really played that poorly the last, these last few turns. Pretty terrible. I think I'm gonna be okay, but didn't have to make it that hard. Yeah, I honestly don't know what's going on with Scarlet Live. I'm gonna close my stream manager. That card's kind of scary, or at least annoying. Oh, but then I won't have a creature in my graveyard anymore. That's fine. I didn't realize how big it was. Jeez. All right, deck list should be updated. Should I just bring to light for free? Do I have something that I really want? Not really. So why is my mana being so awkward? I guess that was mostly me just mismanaging Nahiri. But I did draw like I did naturally draw all my blue and white sources. So it's probably a bit unlucky. How the last league and I went four one. That's four zero as you can see. I'm not sure there's much they can do about that. Yeah, this whole game, this whole game was kind of a mess. Obviously, I didn't play that very well. Okay, let's see if we hit any cards, given that we added all these siege rhinos to our deck. That's a Teferi. I still hit a couple. Not bad. Yeah, this is a matchup game one where you don't need to be too greedy, because I think besides is it charm, your bring to light. They have very little ways to counter your Niv. After sideboard, it's a different story. After sideboard, they're going to have probably four disputes and maybe even some disdainful strokes. So it's going to be way trickier, way trickier. What happened match five? We played against Mono Black. It was close. We lost. We won the first game. First game was pretty close. Every game was pretty close. I don't think I made any mistakes actually for once. I just like kind of lost fair and square. Yeah, that's some really good draws like one drop into double one drop, whether it was like discard spells, dudes. And then more discard spells, and then they had the swift end for my first creature. It was it was rough. Also, that is legal in Pioneer, yeah. I think it's probably worse than Tulsimir, though. When you're in tight spots against aggro, Tulsimir is really, really good. It's like the most... Between the life gain and the fight and the two, two blockers, it's the biggest, like, the better stabilizer, I guess. Matchup seems like it might be tough. I guess Rest in Peace Traverse is a non bow. Really can't wait to play that artifact. I just want Theorus to be legal just so I can play the artifact. Rest in Peace seems good. The Spark seems good. Thought Erasure seems good. Dovin's Veto seems good. Teferi seems good. Big Teferi. Probably not good. Probably another card that gets countered 
let's see what's bad Dread Wars, pretty bad. Brav Decay is pretty bad. Assassin's Trophy is pretty bad. Domery might actually be decent. Clarion. Clarion seems kind of like. <laughs> Having Sweepers is kind of nice, but I think I'm just. My, my, my Rhinos. Hostage Shaker seems bad. Probably having access to one Clarion is smart. Yeah. The, the Lantern. Is the Erasure good in this matchup? I think so, because they're going to have a lot of counter spells after sideboard. So if I just rely on my expensive spells, it's going to be awkward. Tulsimir doesn't do much. Oath of Kaya seems. I'm not sure. They're supposed to have Young Pyromancer, I think. And my Traverse are not going to be Creature Tutors, so I need to... Also, Verdict just becomes better once you have Rest in Peace. So having a Verdict might be okay, too. I could just cut Traverse. 20 Freelance plus 2 Traverse plus 4 Carried. But maybe I want to be all in a... I, mean, I guess I want to try and race with Rhinos. So I'm gonna build my deck around rhinos. It's on a card that's have synergy with rhinos. I'll just kind of bring to light, I guess. Kambal. Oh yeah, Kambal dies to fiery temper, but Kambal could be good. Kamal's probably a bit mopey against someone who has Fiery Temper in their deck. But they might board out Fiery Temper for all their counter spells. Yeah, I think Kamal was a good idea, actually. And it fits for his RC Rhino plan. They don't have ways to gain life. <laughs> Did you see that? There's a Hype Train on Twitch, apparently, now. Hype Train has arrived on your channel. This supersized celebration is the newest way for your community to come together to support your stream, aka throw money at you, and earn re emote rewards along the way. Once there is a spike in support from bits, subscriptions, or gifts from the community, the Hype Train leaves the station, displaying a timer and a hypometer that fills as viewers support your channel. If the meter fills before the countdown expires, the Hype Train moves to the next level where a new tier of emote rewards can be unlocked. <laughs> wow. They're really helping me get, get all your money there. One of the main benefits of using Hype Train is that it incentivizes your community to show you extra support without you having to initiate anything. <laughs> nice, I don't even have to do the sellout anymore, just Twitch does it for me. Once the high print starts rolling, you can pump up the energy and encourage viewers to keep it going. <laughs> or you can keep doing what you're doing and just let the, la the, hi the hype train roll. However you use it is up to you and you can adjust your, your settings anytime from your creator dash dashboard. <laughs> Dude, they're on the right You heard it, chat. All aboard the hype train. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. They have a Royal Sun and a Phoenix in the yard. Chat. What's the deal? They could easily play a bunch of spells next turn. I think I just have to rest in peace now. I mean, I really want to play. Can I play Siege Rhino this turn? It's kind of bad for me if I play rest in peace and then they don't play a four drop that I can just spark. So let's see, I play Siege Rhino. They go draw. Draw, draw, treasure cruise, bring back, let's say they only bring back one Phoenix. They have a billion of cards in hand. Let's say they go like Lightning Axe. It's kind of a disaster if they have Lightning Axe. 
Yeah, man, I think I have to cast Rip. I don't love it. I don't I don't love to play that way, but because now I have Royal Siren to worry about. But they have Lightning Axe. It's not like Citra, I know he's gonna beat them. And now, now all they have to do is counter stuff. They did have the Treasure Cruise. They probably would have had a pretty nasty turn. Oh, that was a really good draw. Wow. Maybe I just suck. Maybe I'm just gonna take like billion from Royal Scent and they're gonna have a counter for my Citra, I know, 100%. Yeah, I don't know what I was supposed to do, honestly. I guess I have Siege Rhino to gain some life. They're going to draw a lot of cards, but hopefully they're too far behind and they, their cards don't do enough. Four cards not the end of the world. Do I just veto that? Why not? Or should I say veto for a lightning axe? I don't know, that's kind of sketch. I make these plays sometimes, but no, I'm not fighting for 5-0. I was for I was fighting for the 5-0 earlier and I lost the battle. I guess start taking up Nahiri. Could draw a card, but then I might lose my Niv. Any targets? Be ten damage. They can kill my Niv. Should I try and draw a card? Could draw a Niv. Could get lucky. Could draw land too. Land doesn't do a ton for me though. It would have to be the right land too. Or whatever. Yeah, maybe I played a bit scared. I also have very few answers to roll, Cyan. I guess Dread Boar, between Crackling Drake and, and Royal Cyan, Dread Boar should probably stay in. Not sure what most lists play. How many how many planes all carry they play? They dealt damage to me. That seems really bad. I would definitely kill Sea Drino or Teferi. I would definitely kill the Teferi. That seems like a horrendous choice. Time and Jerson copying me, is he? Hi, Todd. Let's see if he has good ideas. He's a good deck holder and stuff. Maybe he'll help me win the. Maybe he'll help me win the. It doesn't look like four, five color name. Looks like he played five color name and it didn't go well. Fingers MLD, eleven months with Twitch Ram sub. Thank you. Thanks for remembering. Fry the Rhino. What happened with that fiery temper? Nothing. Just went to the yard. That's not too bad. I think I'm in a decent spot. I think them not killing the fairy is. I don't know. I there's no words to explain how bad that is. I'm just my mind is just baffled. Crackling Drake. Recharge, I mean, none of these cards do anything. Like, I don't care that they draw a bunch of cards. Crackling Drake dies to the spark. Royal Science, probably, like, this I don't have to worry about it again. And it's kind of cheap. I'm just gonna put that in my graveyard. I'm just gonna keep plussing. I'm gonna play in the Heary. And I'm gonna plus. Um, obviously, no. All right. 
bounce thing in the eyes just kind of awkward what do I have in my deck all right I tried um, I tried chat I tried I guess I have an ultimate nib if I need to. I was trying to draw a land, obviously, to play the spark and nib. Plus nib. Because if I play nib and I don't draw a land, and somehow they have like... I mean, they just need lightning act as a charm to kill my nib and I lose the game. So I'm not, I'm not too keen on... Uh, on that line. I have four cards. I have eight mana. All right, so I can do that, do that. Play another net, another Teferi to keep it out of range of burn spells. And I can just play. I mean, I guess I could have, yeah, whatever. I wonder if I lose this game. I think I probably lose this game if they kill my Teferi. But it's probably not especially close. I think I boarded at uh I boarded at Tulsimir because it only kills Phoenix on the Zaf Pyroman. So I didn't see Pyroman for game one. It only kills Phoenix and it's a little live game, it's nice I guess. Figured I'd, I'd have Clarion if I need some kind of life gain. Kimbal, Kimbal would be pretty good, yeah. They did keep in like Fiery Temper, they do have Fry. They have some stuff. All right, let's see. They're at 17, I'm at four. Probably wanna Plus to fairy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't even really have to do much. How many Niv do I have left? I have one left in the deck. Breeding pool. I don't know. I'm going to play it safe. I don't think there's a reason to go uh, too crazy here. I guess I could do that at instant speed. I forgot. I could just get a Siege Rhino. No, I want to get something that kills. I have nothing left that kills. Uh, that's kind of wild. Nothing left that kills a thing in the ice. I might actually lose this game. Kind of crazy. I guess Clarion? Oh. I guess Clarion and then Colligan's command. Yeah, all right, I figured it out. I guess I still let. Oh no, I had, had an, I had used to fairy. Yeah, in hindsight, I mean, I guess this this line's pretty good. Maybe I should have minus to fairy on the thing in the ice. Rawl, that's pretty good. Actually, actually, not bad at all.
That may just minus Nahiri. This is getting a bit, uh, that was a bit fancy. I mean, I don't think I can lose this game anymore, but probably still not great to not just, uh, oh yeah, Rhino, but Rhino is really good in this matchup. That makes sense. I agree, Rhino has been, no, I mean, honestly, when someone kind of, I mean, people have suggested Rhino before, and I was kind of anti-Rhino, but for some reason, this time I was really, like, excited about it, and it felt like exactly what I wanted. I mean, it's when I started to think maybe I should have Siege Rhino in my sideboard, and someone was like, well, why not just main deck? And I was like, oh, yeah, actually, why not just main deck? Seems great. Yeah, I mean, I'm running out of uh, running enough cards here. Oh yeah, it's lethal. I can see losing some really grindy games because I have very few hits with Nave right now. Oh. Already had updated record to one oh I guess that's confident. Mana blue. Mana blue spirits or color screwed spirits? Looks like color screwed spirits. Oh kill a germ. And not great, but at least I can I have turned five nev, so that's it's not bad. And I can cast a Brub Decay on turn two. Let's kill a germ. Let's kill a germ watching. No. All right, Lysionel. Good night, bud. Beacon Bolt in this deck. That sounds kind of good. No, wait, what? You need spells in your yard? Mm, probably not that good. Should I advertise that I'm streaming Niv in the Niv Discord? What are doing? Gamnesif just posted his most recent Pioneer Niv list. Said he was just a game of five ways and there's a whole lot I like about this. This is a very on-time mana base with a low amount of conditional land. I never even thought to use Traverse the Olven one, and while like, getting the earlier is probably right, it feels good. The Nilius was a magic card, I really like it. No big deal. I like that the Niv Discord showing proper respect. <laughs> Am I supposed to kill Gilded Goose? Are they just playing Possibilities? They're probably playing Possibility Star, right? That's gonna kill the Goose now before they play something nasty on Curve. Speaking of Curve. What? I was looking away for a second and I got stubborn. Oh my god, that hurts. I guess my bring to light was probably going to get stubborn denial, honestly, so. Okay, so they're just playing blue green stompy. And they're playing goose because. So if I play blooming march, I have black. Green, blue, red. Okay, I'm good. Should I kill the 1-1? One, one? Kind of want to kill the 1-1 one, one now. Kill the 1-1. One, one. They play 5-5. Five, five. They attack for 5. Is that 2? Because if I don't do that... How do I even beat Ronas? I don't think I can beat the card Ronas in my deck. I need to race it. Can take it hostage. Yikes. I'm in a bad spot, I think. I think I got got. I don't know, maybe this is horrendous. I'm 
man, I know I'm going to get got. But I'm going to get mine more than I get got, though. On a side note, every game I just like Dreadbore less and less, Sorcery Speed Removal spell is really just not low. Most of their 1 1 costs 1 mana, so I guess they could be holding it back. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry about the coughing. It's not too big of a deal. Wait, what? That's Death Touch. Um, so I probably just need to play Teferi and Trophy, right? Teferi minus Ronas? I think I need to buy a bit of time, right? I might have a counter spell. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, they might realize. Petrona says Death Touch. That's really weird. Plus Killer Germ is I mean he's a good player. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. <clears throat> Might not end up mattering. I mean, whether I end up the game at four or nine, I think I just stabilized. I was stabbed out. There's nothing he should be worried about. If I play in the Heary Minus, I just die to Galta or something. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know it has Death Touch. Maybe he just net decked the deck and it's his first league. <clears throat> Not completely out of the woods here. Ronas is still a problem. I can just steal it. I guess I have thought erasure draw step. Never mind. Okay. Uh, black, blue. Just ha take hostage to Ronas. And. Say go. Huh. Damn. So they both kill it, except one is bigger. Okay. Could be it's. Probably won't land this game. That's not what I expected. Wait, what? Oh, I took the wrong one. <laughs> Awkward. Whoop. I kind of don't want to attack. I want to see if... Oh, whatever, I'll get damage in. Second clarion at instant speed. Can Nahiri plus just play Tulsimir. Tulsimir is kind of awkward. I think maybe I like Nahiri. The 
Theory Plus. Just kind of bad what I'm doing, I think. I guess it's fine. It's fine. Ronas can't pump it can't cannot pump itself. He gets to kill Teferi, but then I get to kill Ronas. I didn't want to discard Clarion in case his only creature was like a small creature. Okay, I think I like it that he's just attacking face. It's pretty good for me. I would have definitely killed a Teferi, but who knows. I was going to say I died to Serac. Oh, never mind. That's not. He needs a 1 1. <clears throat> Plays Ronas, throws a 1 1. Doesn't have the mana to pump. All right. I'll just play the Sakai, I guess. Oh, he doesn't have Ronas in hand anymore. I'm dumb. All right. Probably took a tiny bit longer than I had to add some. Not the toughest decision, I think. Clarion plus Tall Smear. I don't care about their 5 5. I mean, can just like. What she doesn't matter. He's playing a way more expensive version. Multiple Wicked Wolves and Hydras? Seems kind of weird. Seems super clunky. The Fairy seems good. Celestial Charm seems amazing. Thought Erasure might be good. The Spark might be good. Verdict is good. The Fairy might be good. Definite Clarion seems pretty bad. We don't really need lifelink in this matchup. They can't burn you out or anything. I mean, sometimes you're gonna need lifelink, but Ois of Kaya seems pretty bad. Coligan's command, unless they have vehicles, they have the goose too. Hostage taker seems pretty bad against Wicked Wolf. Sea Trine actually seems kind of bad. They have all five fives, right? Fairy's probably a bit greedy. They're gonna have more counter spells after sideboard. I'm gonna keep one Sea Rhino in maybe. Spark? They played multiple Wicked Wolves and they have Galta. And they probably have like Suru Surak. Two to Spark. Is it too many? Yeah, you're right. Spark's a bit narrow. <clears throat> Surak. And Sealy for both five fours, yeah. Hostage Shaker is good against Ronas. I guess I can trip a carry it because it doesn't block very well against them. And I'm bringing in more verdicts. But it's good with Karen to kill Elf. No, I'll keep them in. Yeah, I could kind of bring two lights. I saw two Wicked Wolf and two Hydras, so I really don't want Hostage Shaker in my deck. It's kind of high variance card. I don't know if I want that or not. I think Definite Clarence probably kind of... Uh, Scarab God would be good there. It'd be okay. 
I'm looking chat. I don't see the green source. I think the Capino also, I think so. They saw Hostage Shaker and Wicked Wolf can kill Siege Rhino. It survived Sweepers. I would at least keep Wicked Wolf if I was them. Unless they have a lot of good cards to bring in. I don't know what to get rid of. I could get rid of Sun Petal Grove, honestly, or Temple Garden. I have like over 30 mana sources in my deck. <clears throat> I really don't like the look of his deck. Goose and Goose of Arrow. I mean, it was Lovestruck Beast too? I guess maybe they played two Goose and eight Elves. Maybe he's just getting unlucky. Oh, um, I don't know that's really getting unlucky, but you know what I mean. What's better first? Probably the fairy while they don't have mana up. I think they kind of have to kill the fairy. If they don't want to kill the fairy, I think I'll be okay. The duck doctor. Thanks to the duck doctor. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Of course, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime sub every month. Great way to support the stream. Doesn't cost you much and I uh, see it helps me out, so uh, keep it in mind. Of course, you probably already sub to like Numat. Numat's pretty shameless. Not only really was just tweeting, like tweeting about the Twitch Prime subs, like come and give me your Twitch Prime sub, basically. So greedy, these aggro players. It's not no respect for Teferi. No respect. Just get a planes in case I draw verdict shirt or GTFO. I don't get it, but shirt as in shirt, or do you like my shirt? Green, white, blue, no. Green, blue, white, red, black. Plain seems just fine. I was gonna say work to sell it, but that's a real money sub. Even better, thank you so much. Hooked them. Thanks, bud. All right, well, <clears throat> let's see how uh, not killing Teferi is going to work out for them. Could win them the game, could lose them the game, could be neutral. <coughs> Killer Germ, I don't know who Killer Germ is. They were qualified for the Modern Championship. I think they're just someone who likes to play on Magic Online. How many subs do I have to donate for a topless stream? Is that against TOS? There's not much to see. I haven't been hitting the, the swimming pool much lately. <laughs> All right, so if I play Niv, I'm just dead on board. So I probably shouldn't do that. Just see Drina and hope they don't have it. <coughs> Rocky Nassif? What is that clip? Is that just now? Oh. <laughs> Wait, the push up for 
Oh, please no. I don't, that's gonna be so cringy. I don't even wanna. <coughs> Sorry. Yikes, I think we lose chat. All right, let's fetch not green, not white. Probably black. Am I ever gonna need two red mana? Nahiri minus on the token. I guess Nahiri minus on the token might trip. Might need two red mana, I'll take red. So, I can minus on a human. Yeah, I just kill the 1-1 one, one and pray. The question is, do I play Nahiri first? This way I play around a counter spell. Oh, Tulsimir too. I can traverse for Tulsimir. Is that better? That's much better, right? Perfect deck. Green, green, white. You could just get another. It's better. Hold. I guess I can bring to light for verdict even if they draw a one one. <clears throat> Looks like they flooded a bit. Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf's big draw for them. That's a good card. Can kill it. At five. So bring to light for verdict, I just lose, so that's not a great play. I could Niv, hope to draw a removal spell. That's probably pretty good. If I kill it with Nahiri, I'm just dead to a 1-1. One -one. So I could kill it with Nahiri, play Hallowed Fountain, go down to free, Fight the goose because oh, that's good. Domri fight wolf with goose. I could do that or hope to get a removal spell that costs two. Yeah, chat is just spouting nonsense. It's either. Play Niv or. And is there, do I have some magic card in my deck? It could also be an extreme coward and get a Siege Rhino, but that's like very good. <clears throat> Problem is, I have to guess right which lands to get. All right. I've made my decision. I'm just gonna do that and hope they don't draw a one on. I gave them the GL in chat. It's a lot of mana for a 1-1. One, one. All right, it's, it's fine. The face when all you need is a 1-1 one, one and you draw a 10-11 vor 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 voracious Hydra that really doesn't do much. Uh, I think it might be good enough though for now. All right. 
I have an extra mana. That's nice, actually. Ooh, Assassin's Trophy. Easy clap. So I could get Colgan's Command? No. That's not good. All right, I'm just going to play Niv, right? I could just Verdant. What do I lose to if I Niv? You guys like Raffing, really? I'd rather play get Niv in play and start killing them. Green, red, white, black. Maybe I do have to verdict. I only have one black mana. Well then, verdict it is. Let's start by casting the Niv. <clears throat> On counter roll, just in case. Just in case they draw this dangerful stroke. The fairy's nice. Let free. Kind of sucks if they have stubborn denial. Oh. Kind of random, like, collection of Planeswalker here I have. Not exactly the ones you see every day. Just gonna get a Siege Rhino, probably. <clears throat> Don't need to tap my... Uh... I need to tap my black mana. <laughs> Got him. <clears throat> Hey bud, GG's. Yeah, he kind of flooded that second game. First game you just missed an attack was your Ronas at some point. You didn't attack Ronas into my uh into my Nev. What are the worst matchups with the new build? I have no idea, honestly. I mean, I was kind of struggling against blue white. I'm not sure then. This build is probably a tiny bit better against blue white, but. I get like passage for a swamp and hope I get lucky. And then if I don't, I get to go turn to presence. Go Stomping Ground, Enchant. Let's play it now, I guess. Oh, yeah, I should get Swamp in case I draw a Rub Decay, and I want to play it on turn two. Seems like a good target for my presence. So I already have Stomping Ground in play. You think Blue Eyes going to be good with Thassa's Intervention and 4 mana Wrath? Just straight up Blue Eyes? Yeah, maybe. Blue Eyes already pretty good, right? C Trino into Niv. What do you think, Chad? Do you think that if you're 
mid-range red player. Do you A, like when your opponent goes Siege Rhino into Nev, B, dislike? Who has an invite for the Niv Discord? I don't know if I'm like a mod or anything, if I can invite other people. It's like open. Looks like I can. But for don't don't forget you need to respect the Niv Discord. I guess I'll kill a goblin over the the token. They might actually be able to burn me out. If they have Emberclave, I might just lose. I'm joking, but Emberclave just wins them the game easy next turn, right? No, maybe not. Jiggy Wiggy, I don't know though. Someone's claiming they like Navigator's Compass better than Mana Confluence and Prophetic Play or be better than a. Uh... Can I search here? Mountain? I have a forest left. Red, green. Yeah, that works. <coughs> oh, but Navigator's Compass. It's pretty sketchy. Some pretty sketchy claims. Dude, I can't take it of people complaining about light theme every time. It's so, like, so old. So broke. How many people in the Niv Discord? 134 online? Wow. Dude, that is that is a lot. I did not expect there's almost a thousand people in the Niv Discord. Oh, you wanted me to bring to light for Clarion? Oh, next turn. I yeah, will see. That is kind of nuts. So they have Bone Crusher Giant. Probably gonna Clarion next turn, right? And then they can finish off my Siege Rhino. Or I'm gonna Tall Simir either way. I'm just gonna. I might just Verdict too, I don't know, we'll see. They have Wild Slash. I mean, they throw like Bone Crusher Giant and Thingy at Niv. It's kind of nice because then I get to Clarion next turn. So long as they have another Wild Slash. And even if they do, they have no cards left in hand. Just, I guess they have a, they have a Giant. Any anyway, Time Wipe? Could could do time wipe. Seems so greedy, honestly. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm greedy, but that's like sounds like a whole other level of greed. Yeah, Damon is gonna go for the Clarion play. Even if they have shock, I mean, even if they have shock, I probably still can't lose. Just tutor for, oh, and you have free card types. Wow. I mean, I know I'm gonna get got, but I'm gonna get mine more than I get got though. I mean, I know I'm gonna get got. It's perfect, dude. I feel like it literally fits.
Dulcimer. It was kind of a staple in the modern version of the deck. I don't think I have the modern version build anymore, but yeah, somehow Tulsimir is the best thing you can tutor for five mana. It's weird, right? I mean, it's possible there's like a non-gold five mana card that should be in the deck that's like really insane. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're missing out. Maybe there's like one or two four slash five mana card that are not gold that should be in the deck. Tractus? I don't think Tractus modern legal. Scarab God's like, I don't think Scarab God's especially good. Probably on Verdict. Probably gonna end up having to bring in Celestia Charm because I won't have anything better. Kambal is kind of okay. Let's see the spark on a keep in dreadbore. I just hate sorcery speed removal spell, but it's cheap. The fairy is probably mediocre. Hostage takers. It's not bad against soul scar mage. The here is probably not very good. <clears throat> Maybe Dumber in this matchup. Oh, that one seems fine. As they kill it, they don't have a one toughness guy I can fight with. I can't go carry it. Dumbray fight a one toughness guy. I think Hostage Shaker is good. It's good against one drops. It's okay against Soul Scar Mage. They don't have a ton of burn spells that kill it, I guess. It's not the worst. Split on Rhino and Huntmaster. Yeah, nice one. Way to embarrass yourself. The Erasure might be good in this matchup, or not, I'm not sure. Oh, so maybe you just board out the fairy. Do that, maybe? Yeah, Kimball's whatever, it dies to everything, but at least it's a curve play and it's, mm, it's probably mediocre. Oh, this part's probably pretty good against them, right? They have a lot. I think Domre might be sketch. Could maybe cut a Niv in this matchup since they don't have discard or anything. Yeah, I'll just cut a Niv. Hotmaster would probably be in the deck if it was Pioneer Legal. I mean, it it was it was like one of the playables in Modern. I wonder what the Modern version of the deck looks like these days. Or standard. Oh, so many lists though. Is there like a, a serious like kind of like Yikes, this sounds not very good, but I think I have to keep. Probably gonna lose this game. Angrath's good. I mean, you can't tutor it with Bring to Light, and it's just another five mana card. Sounds really bad. Can I post the link? Yeah, yeah, sure. Maybe it sounds like it could actually be decent against the Urza decks, against the Urza Oko, just kind of go over the top and be good. That Verdict's looking, uh, Fine and mighty. I knew Verdict was going to be rough. They have old counters, but you play Teferi and... You can probably pick your spell to line up well against what they do. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I think the challenge was a bit softer because there was a bunch of people focusing on the mocks. I think they were at the same time, right? I kind of want to play Mana Confluence. How much damage do I take? One, two, three, four. If I play Carotid, I get to go Niv. What do you think, chat? All right, I'm just gonna play Confluence and say go and hope my read is right. Yeah, 
Yikes, that's not good. That's not good for my plan. I mean, I was worried about Torbrand or something, but they can play around it if they have. Yeah, maybe that was too fancy. I don't think four mana Vraska is good because you have nothing to sack to it. On Mordigo, I mean, I don't like these cards. I think it's like mediocre. Drawing in the lock, I tried a bit. It was not very good. It's not terrible, but it's not very good. Yeah, I kind of blew it. I exposed myself to. I mean, I don't know. It was kind of, it was kind of a gamble. Pretty gamblish line. Should have thought about it a bit more. So if I play Carried and they play Torbran, I can block Soul Scar Mage and I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. I got I got kind of owned. I mulligan. They had a good hand. I had a bad hand. Happens. I mean, it was close. They know I don't have like a removal spell. They don't have to think I've disbarred. They could just put me on the Brub Decay and play a four mana card. I think I like the way I sideboard it. Teferi becomes much better on the play. They don't look like they're playing Chain Whirler either. Teferi's like, hmm. <clears throat> Teferi becomes much, much better. I think I'm gonna just not have Thought Erasure and I'm gonna have Teferi instead. Maybe the fairy's too bad, but Thought Erasure is so awkward. Also, if you don't affect the board, you just get out tempo. Plus, this shaker is a close one. Is that like fires? It's a bit awkward with Carried and Lantern. Could maybe play one. But no, I typically don't like fires. Even when I was playing in standard, I didn't like fires. In the Niv deck, I was just playing four lanterns and one fires. I think, think fires in small numbers are probably good. I don't know about four fires. I have to try it out. Obviously not the greatest hand ever, but you basically have to keep these hands. It kind of feels bad. I'm already only playing free Niv and I boarded one out. But I draw one Niv, one bring to light, I win. I draw spells, I win. Play Kamal tapped, right? Could play Domery into Sylvan Carrot. And then my Domery's on four, and next turn Kamal can fight some stuff. Seems kind of good, actually. Also, my Carrot blocks a Rabble Master Goblin token. If they go like Rebel Master next turn, they just lose their token. Yeah, that line, that line's best line by far. And they can't counter my carry did. And if they have Fry, it's bad for them. Yeah, two one free carry did seems kind of unreal against Red. How are they supposed to win? I'm joking, but I probably gonna lose this game. They have all four and five mana cards. I'm just gonna lose it all to Glorybringers. It's gonna be sad. Yeah. Chandra and Glorybringer incoming. I don't even want to play my combo. It's just gonna die a horrible death. Mm. Question is should I fight the Rebel Master or not? Or should I keep ticking up uh, Domri? <laughs> I mean, I don't care about Travel Master right now, right? I mean, 
take care of the cleave it. So I'd say they make a 1-1, one -one, attack with both. I'm going to block Dryad on the 1-1 one -one, and they cleave it. And they wasted their turn to deal 6 damage. Yeah, I kind of care if they cleave it, but... I mean, what else am I going to fight, I guess? Yeah, alright, I'll fight now. <clears throat> I'm just gonna fetch. I really don't want to draw more lands. This is bad enough. At least if they glory bringer, it gets me really close to to traverse. Wow, that is great for me. Wild slash can't combine. Wow, I thought I was gonna lose for sure. I figured if they don't have cheap cards, they just have lands. Chandra's glory bringers, Torbrand, etc. Wait, what? Oh, this is utter, utter killing the... Why did they play it like that? Why didn't it just like lightning strike Kambal first and then just... That was weird. That was a wee bit awkward. All right. Just gonna play it. It's gonna be really hard for me to lose this game. I could. I could just draw like all lands and never get, and somehow never. <laughs> that works, right? That plays. Zing! God, Traverse is so good. Just like, so, so good. It's funny because I kind of, usually I don't like the Traverse decks. I feel like they're trying too hard and Traverse is like slow and But this deck just uses it so perfectly. <laughs> Such a beating. Return my Niv? Kill your Rebel Master? Normally, normally. Oh, Celestia Charm, no big deal. Plus two plus. All right. Close game. Oh, we actually lost the game this match. I wonder if I'd have won if I played carried it last game. I thought my play was pretty reasonable. All right, I'll be right back. Get a little break. Don't even know why I bothered joining the queue. Hey Raph, yeah, I'm back on Carrotted. It helped though, honestly. It was like really good that I played it was your deck. Look at our version, we're playing 4 C Drino and it's been just such gas. I think Carrotted's pretty good. Bring one presence, one limit. I don't know, I'm mixing it up, trying. Flap Jackie, is that gas? It's definitely lots of fun and I'm winning. I've been winning a lot. Been better. Sounds kind of awkward. Just doesn't do much. This 
it's kind of close between stomping ground and one of the two others. So if I go stomping ground, and I want to go Plains Sanctum to play it to Ferry, and then I won't be able to play Siege Rhino on turn on curve. Most decks are aggro decks, and I'm probably gonna to want to play. I don't know. I'm just gonna play Stomping. They mulligan to five. Yeah, Rhino. Honestly, just decided to try to see what would happen if you had less targets for Nev. How low you could go, and Rhino is just such the perfect card for the deck in the form. I mean, I guess there's a Rhino was the best card in standard, right? Pretty much the whole time it was the only standard. Funny finality becomes better, yeah. I was thinking about playing another Colligan's Command, but Colligan's Command is kind of a clunky card. up for they're gonna lightning my face and then pyromancer in the turn s maiden thanks for the twitch primary sub withers lightning pyromancer so if i play to fairy they're gonna lightning my face i get to bounce level runner they play thingy they replay it I think this is just like basically buys me two life and draws me a card. It's not like the fairy is going to be that good against burn ever. If you played the fairy just plus, really? I'd rather take my card. It's even a better line if they don't have a third land. Five life is better than drawing. It's not five life though. Look, they're losing a damage. It's, it's like four life. You could. It's like four life. It's kind of. A I clear in now, this Vyashino is going to deal 2 damage. I think I should just clear in. Yeah, because it's going to deal 2 damage and then I play Niv and if I clear in was Niv in play, maybe I have a burn spell and I lose my Niv. So I actually don't end up profiting from the lifelink. I don't know, it's kind of close. I have four cards. If they have a bunch of boar charm, they could burn me out. I'm gonna have to shock myself. I don't love it. 12, 8. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. Seems like a tough matchup. Alright, bring two lights, not bad. I only hit one, but. I mean, that's what happens when you play four siege rhino. Yeah, one rhino, bunch of green. And obviously one is way under average. No, well, they can't really kill me. They would need to have literally triple boar strong. Oh, no, they could have double boar strong, double burn spell. Here's one. <laughs> It's nice for me that they have idle on and it's one of their cards in hand. I have Tulsimir too in my deck. What do you think, Chad? Tulsimir is kind of risky. Oh no, I gained the free life anyways, right? Tulsimir much. How greedy do I want to be? I think I just fight the idol. 
Skull crack? Yikes. I'm fine now. Okay, now I definitely killed Eidolon. So I won't be able to play my Oath of Kaya. And I can attack. Alright, I don't think they can kill me. I don't think they have 5 damage spell in their deck. They don't play Glorybringer, they're playing the Burn. As long as they didn't draw another Skull Crack, I win. It's literally the... No, that's not true. What if they draw... They need to either draw Skull Crack this turn or draw a double... I think that's literally it. It's the two combination of cards that win them. Just play the creature, please. Oh no, there are 12. Oh, I win anyways. Okay. I'm dumb, I just... They're also dubbed, yeah. Classic me's. Missing chat lethal, missing actual lethal. My stream is like opposite, uh, opposite days or opposite streams. I always miss lethal and chat actually always has All right, Kimball seems great. Celestial Charm seems good. Dalvin's Veto might be better than something. Verdict's kind of nice against Eidolon. Five mana to Fairy's not bad against Burn sometimes, let's see. I think they bring in some expensive stuff, but probably Celestial Charm to The Heary kills Eidolon, Hostage Taker is okay. Verdict can be good, but it's kind of hard to kill. I think one Veto is kind of nice. I think I want all my fives in this matchup. Can I cut a Niv? Hmm, I could. None of these cards are very exciting. The fair on the draw seems bad. Ragdos return could be okay. Ragdos return for two. Is that better? Dreadboard's pretty bad. Sorcery speed removal spell is pretty heinous. I'll cut a Niv. Maybe you want all the thought erasures. I don't know. Just. <coughs> Mana turn. I mean, you have time for it, but it seems fine, especially against Burn. Turns Mana Confluence into pain-free lands, which is probably kind of... What's the best Doomblade? Actual Doomblade or like Swift End? If you're willing to pay two black and one, it's Swift End. If not, I think people are playing Grasp and Ultimate Price. Probably Ultimate Price. Classic me is just encouraging people to play ultimate price against my Sounds <laughs> just so awkward. I just have turned to select. I don't have carried it. I have some of the worst cards. I can't cast anything. That's gonna mulligan. All right, so thing is my hand was like the mana was awkward on top of everything it was like not only did i not have the exciting cards but it was hard for me to play like my spells this i think this is snap keep no i think i go to five all i have to do is carry it into nev this is a matchup where i probably want to mulligan I don't even have black man I Alright. I'll mulligan again. Get forest. Play carried. Do I just get rid of Bring to Light? I guess Bring to Light is just Tulsimir, right? 
Oh, I have to get rid of two. Oh. Guess I just get rid of Traverse. Could keep Tulsimir if I think Tulsimir is going to be hard, easier to cast than Brick. Oh, this is going to be super rough. Maybe not. We don't have a way to kill Carroted. Carroted is pretty nuts. This oh, wow. Yellow hat, wow. So if they say go is two men up, I can just play a second carroted. Uh, they shouldn't have chain whirler. That would be really weird. They could have them in their sideboard and just bring it in because it's better than other stuff. Don't do that. They could have. They could have skull crack. They could have the one white removal spell too, whatever it's called. Chain to the rocks. Oh, I like tapping out. Paul Smear or Seed. Probably Tall Smear. I want to be able to play my Thought Erasure. All again to five. Easy call. Also more damage. Can have like land hazards. That would be bad for me. How does this flecting palm read? Next time is source of your choice. I eleven, eleven. Do I? They said nice drawing chat. I said thanks. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe they're not being. I mean, I'm all again. Wait, why are they not casting Skullcrack? Weird. I guess if you know they have Palm in their sideboard, you probably want one or two to. I can pump whatever they don't Palm. I didn't have, did have double palm. I go down to five. They also have a burn spell. Can I lose if I just don't do Go down to ten. Five. Can I lose if I... Yeah, right. I was thinking maybe they have a burn spell to kill my token, but who cares? No way to lose if I pump, no way to lose if I pump. Death palm, they put me down to five. And they need a one card that deals five damage for four mana.
All right, one more. Can we do it? I don't have a very good track record of uh, of winning my last run when I'm 4-0. I just choke, just choke under pressure. Gloomy, five fifty two hundred. Please don't. I like blooming March turn one. It's probably good for me. Unless it's a mirror match. Then it's a coin. Grimsky, the Grim Dad, the Glam Flare, Sacred Foundry, Botanical Sanctum. You can't believe. It's going to be my treat when they're playing Soul Flare and there's nothing I can do about it. Better enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, I, I mean, can't I know wait. I'm gonna get got, but I'm gonna get mine more than I get got, though. All right, they don't have hex proof. Oh, they do have hex proof. Yikes. What did they get? Murder Strider? Man, so close. So what's it gonna be? Flying Double Strike Vision's Trimp. Oh, it doesn't have Life Link. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything in my deck that deals with. Maybe I should have one card that kind of deals with it. Dreadbore, no good. Colligan's Command kind of does something. I'm getting in a Heary. Does nothing. At least it doesn't have lifelink. Maybe I can just race it. How do I race it? Color games commands a burn spell. Could... <sighs> they have hexproof. They have Ferox in the yard. So next turn, I want to go Siege Rhino plus something. Yeah, racing seems possible. Considering discarding. Grimflight gets me Clarion. It's going to be hard to race, though. They have the blocker. They have a 4-4 four -four that like blocks my guys every turn. So I have to like play a bunch of siege rhinos. Hope to draw lands. Nahiri's like never gonna do anything ever, right? This way I kind of kept I kept the cheap removal spell. If they play like a questing beast or something. No, it has lifelink. They got the perfects. I guess it doesn't have ace. Double strike, flying hex proof. Yeah. I can like block and bounce my dude. Do I have anything that bounces at instant speed? I can like block and kill my own dudes. Oh, that's trample. My ass trample, I can't even do that. All right. Oh, obviously, I want to rest in peace. Then maybe Dobbins Veto. 
Well, Vina doesn't stop that, right? It's small creature, I don't know. So last new charm can, I mean, no, it's not even its power five or greater. Thought erasure, definitely. The fairy seems good. Maybe Ragus returns good fast enough. All right. Dreadbore seems really bad. Abrupt decay seems really Deafening Clarion. Not sure. Call against command. Bad. Oath of Kaya. So I definitely want Thought Erasure, I definitely want Veto, definitely want two Rest in Peace. I think I want all the Teferis. Nahiri. Alright, Nahiri seems... Tall Samir. Spark is good if they don't have it. They don't have the Hexproof Fart. I'm wondering if Ragdos Return for 2 can ever get them. The Spark is good if they don't have Hexproof, if they have Soul Flare and no Hexproof. Big Teferi? Really? Seems worse than. Isn't small to fairy basically better? I don't have rest in peace, and I don't have the way to a way to disrupt a perfect soul flare. But I think I just have to keep that hand. Just good enough. Settle, yeah. I mean, ideally, I'd want like something like in some like I don't know what exists that like you know gets rid of a soul flare. Yeah, I think crackling doom. I crackling doom could be a good sideboard card. It's the best sideboard card because you can tutor for it with bring to light and. Even if they have a bunch of carotid and troll in play, you still get it. It's crackling. I think green because I'm more likely to draw green, but maybe not. Could have also just played Fable. Consecrate Consume? Wow. That's actually such gas, right? Actually perfect card. All right, unfortunately I can't cast Veto. But I don't think there is anything I could... Huh. I don't know what to do, chat. They would just Grizzly Salvage on their turn if they had Grizzly Salvage, right? Why would they not play great? Oh, because they're playing around the grave. Hey, Jason. I don't know much about legacy. And modern is kind of fun to play right now, but they're going to ban Oko. It was like the holiday, so we just let people. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to think here. I don't know if they would ever sandbag. They could also just stop deck a gather. I feel like I should just play it though and hope for the best. <laughs> nice questing beast. Did I block have this spark and assassin's trophy? Don't really want to use my Dispark though. So it gives Vigilance, Death Touch, and Haste to their Questing Beast, which I don't really care about. I'm just going to block. Thought Erasure. 
I think I should play that sooner rather than later. So I think the Soul Flare and the Sweet are pretty far from their combo. They have Murderous Rider in hand. I'll top, I guess. I don't know if that's correct. Graveyard, you think? I have rest in peace in the deck. All right. I already got carried in, in the yard. Jeez. When did they get? Was the. They put Lawless Straw in their hand? There's literally no point in casting that when they have Swift End. Should just say go. So I at least have Veto up. Kill Troll? No, I don't care about Troll. Which she couldn't care less. Do everything that. Um, that's Trophy, right? Not just the spark, right? Spark's not good. I guess the spark is good if they get to hard cap. I don't know why they kept. I think they kept. Tr I'm not sure I like that. All right, I guess I should start casting them. It's only bad if they draw Gather the Pack or Grizzly Salvage. Wonder what they're gonna take. I see Drain is actually good. Yeah, they've been. I'm just gonna say go. I guess thing goes bad. I don't know. I guess thing goes good. All right, they have one turn. That sucks. GG. Last possible turn I could bring to light rest in peace. That's so sick actually. I lost because I didn't bottom see Drino. I blew it. I kind of unlucky. I'd have lifelink somehow. Dude, it's so unreal. I can never five zero. Like, oh, you can't get rest in. I mean, I know I'm gonna get got, but I'm gonna get mine more than I get got, though. I mean, I. 